What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Wong Vlogs. Now in today's video, I am going to explore and explain all eight neighborhoods on board Icon of the Seas. Now this isn't in any particular order, but the first neighborhood I'm going to show you is the Royal Promenade. Now why I've decided to start here is, well, because this is in fact the largest neighborhood on board the entire ship. Now not only is this the largest Royal Promenade in our entire fleet, but it's also where you can find a lot of brand new features exclusive to the Icon class of cruise ships. The Pearl is described as a multi-sensory immersive sphere that is both an art piece and structural support for the Royal Promenade. And by far one of my favorite things to do on board Icon of the Seas is actually walking up the stairs inside the Pearl and you get the full immersive experience. So it's quite cool. So when you walk through, you're surrounded by all of these sort of metallic tiles. There's music playing, blasting. So I apologize if um, I'm trying to speak very loud right now. But as well, sometimes they play sounds of the ocean, uh, the sound of whales. It's actually very, very soothing. So you get like a different kind of experience every time you are kind of just walking through the Pearl. So the Pearl Cafe is the brand new replacement for Cafe Promenade. And I can honestly say this is so much nicer. First of all, you have a huge whale in the ceiling, an absolute marvel, and then you can sort of see inside. It's actually quite spectacular to look at. I've had the opportunity to try some of the food and coffees in the Pearl Cafe, and it is outstanding. The coffees are probably the same as um, Cafe Promenade, but the food, I think, is next level. Like fast service sandwiches, cakes, desserts, and of course you get this nice open window. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a gloomy day on the day I decided to start recording this video, but nonetheless, you can expect to see spectacular views of the ocean and our days in port like we are today, for example. Now, of course, you will find your Royal Caribbean classics, as I like to call on the promenade, such as Sorrento's Pizzeria, Spotlight Karaoke, Guest Services, Next Cruise, the shops on board, all of those things that you're already familiar with. And Giovanni's Italian Restaurant can also be found on this incredible two-deck Royal Promenade, but what I've actually found that most guests actually really love about this new style of the Royal Promenade on the Icon class of cruising is that there are windows on either side, both the port and the starboard side, that give you direct access to the open deck. When you come out onto the open deck, you have to walk through this cool, new, enhanced sort of, I don't know, entrance as you would call it. And then you have the running track, this really nice seating area and then you can enjoy a view of where we are today. We are docked in Roatan, Honduras. Like I said, bit of a gloomy day. I've decided to start recording this video, but nonetheless, the views are spectacular. All right, so also on the promenade, we have the brand new 1400 bar. Yes. I've just come across some guys having some drinks right now. How are you doing, my man? Beautiful, beautiful. What are you drinking right now? Uh, I'm drinking the Flow Rider, but what I did was, instead of the Jack Daniels, we went with Remy Martin. Whoa! 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 This is it, huh? Yeah, that's that's the rest of the, the damage. This is your recommendation, yeah? Yeah, De <laughs> delicious, delicious. Awesome, awesome. Hey, thanks, uh, thanks for being in my video today. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite cool. It's always nice to meet, you know, other viewers and fans of the channel whilst I'm currently on board the ship. And obviously, a lot of you guys are willing uh, to be actually in my videos. So that was 1400 Bar, one of the brand new venues on board this ship. But what I'm gonna show you now is the rest of the Royal Promenade neighborhood because what people don't realize is that this entire neighborhood is more than just the promenade behind me. And welcome to Absolute Zero, the brand new ice skating rink on board the Icon class of cruising. Now, the reason why this is different and how it's different to Studio B, which is the ice skating rink you are normally familiar with on board our ships, is that this is a complete full circle as opposed to the square that you're normally used to. Absolute Zero is located on deck six all the way to the back of the ship. But yes, this is still considered 
part of the Royal Promenade neighborhood. But yes, if you guys ever get the chance to check out one of the ice skating shows on board Icon of the Seas, it is a Chris Wong high, high recommendation. So I've now moved from the back of the ship on deck six all the way forward. I think I've actually come down to deck five, but regardless if I'm on deck six or deck five, come to the front of the ship now, yes, the front of the ship and welcome to the fitness center on board Icon of the Seas, the best and biggest gym in our entire fleet. This is still considered the Royal Promenade neighborhood. Let me just give you guys a quick overlook of the gym. I'm not gonna, you know, give you a full gym tour and do a machine one by one, but you can see there is an abundance of machines, cardio, workout areas, treadmills, bikes. We've got cable machines, free weights, dumbbells, mirrors and the cool thing about this gym is it's actually two floors if you actually go to the second level you have uh, rooms for like spin classes uh, dance lessons but yeah as you can see this gym is so colorful so beautiful so nice lots of windows lots of natural daylight and it just gives a whole new vibe to what working out can be like during your cruise vacation. Now also on deck five, still all the way forward of the ship, is the Royal Theatre and on Icon of the Seas we have The Wizard of Oz which is actually an incredible show. I don't have too many memories of The Wizard of Oz from my childhood but even watching this show, yeah, it's actually pretty pretty spectacular. Some of the best Broadway style shows you will ever see on board the cruise ship and this theatre is actually very very nice as well. Still a part of the Royal Promenade neighborhood. Still on deck five, but now once again at the back of the ship, I am now in the main dining room. A three floor dining room experience. Very, very classic on a lot of our larger Royal Caribbean ships now, and probably some of our smaller ships as well. I'm not entirely sure if this is the biggest in our fleet, but I had the opportunity to test out a lot of the food here during the startup, and yes, it is quite delicious. Now what's different about the dining room on Icon of the Seas is that when we were training and starting up the ship we were told that they were trying to experiment with the idea of minimizing the lines as you wait for your dinner reservation here in the dining room and this is the introduction of what I believe they called X dining technology through the app which is where you guys the guests now will get a notification on your phone telling you when your table is ready and that way you do not have to you know, be in those huge lines every night during the dinner service to get into the dining room. And the final thing I want to show you guys today is the Casino Royale. Now the casino is open, we are here on deck four, so obviously I cannot film the casino right now as you are all aware you are not allowed to film inside the casino when it is open but I do have a casino tour video coming very very soon so do look out for that but this is the final area of the Royal Promenade neighborhood I'm going to show you. Now let's move on to neighborhood number two. Welcome to the Surfside neighborhood. If you make your way to deck seven, right at the back of the ship, you are now transported to this brand new area exclusive to the Icon class of cruise ships. Now, if you're familiar with our Oasis class cruise ships, I would say this is the replacement of the boardwalk. And as you can see, it is a completely different vibe to what you may be already used to. You can already see by the color scheming and the way everything looks, like all the venues, for example. This is definitely an area that is designed a lot more for families, especially who have young kids in their party. Not that the boardwalk is designed for adults or anything, but like I said, you can tell by the color scheme and just the way everything looks compared to the boardwalk on the Oasis class, that the vibe is completely different. The main thing I want to point out is the carousel, because you will notice there are no horses. There are lots of these cool looking, interesting characters such as giraffes, octopus, I can see a pineapple as well. Now for some other interesting venues on Surfside is of course, where are you going to eat? Now outside the Surfside Eatery, this is a, again a brand new venue just for the icon of the seas. It's like buffet style, slightly different to Windjammer but you can 
find a lot of different types of fast food here along with some other interesting dishes and right next door you also have Surfside Bites which is I would say the equivalent or replacement for Johnny Rockets. Now this is a takeout service, like a takeout window service where again lots of fast food. Uh, I highly recommend the popcorn chicken but you can also find some burgers and fries as well. Now if you head directly to the back of Surfside you have these two awesome venues right here. So let's start off with the Lemon Post which is a margarita bar. So not only is this area designed for kids but whilst the kids have fun in the water park the parents can enjoy a margarita or cocktail of some sort from the Lemon Post. And now let's take a look at the uh, brand new water park because again compared to the Oasis class of cruising this is normally where the aqua theatre would be. However for Icon of the Seas and our oh, Icon sorry class of cruise ships this is now a water park. And this ladies and gentlemen will conclude my Surfside neighborhood which means we can now move on to neighborhood number three. And welcome to the Central Park neighborhood. Now the reason why I've decided to come to Central Park in the evening and at night is because well I personally feel like the vibes is a much more interesting, entertaining and definitely a lot more exciting in my opinion as opposed to it during the day and a lot of you again if you have been on our Oasis class cruise ships you will be very familiar with the set. Hey guys how you go? How's it going? <laughs> a lot of you who have been on the Oasis class cruise ships will be familiar with the Central Park area however on the Icon class there are 20% more trees. Now I do want to show you some of the brand new venues exclusive to the Icon class in the Central Park neighborhood and we're going to start off here at Lou's Jazz Bar. I suppose you would say this is a replacement for the Jazz on 4 compared to our Oasis class ships. This is definitely a much more interesting vibe. You have the nice outdoor sort of windows that have come down so you can you know see inside as you as you walk past the bar but look how nice this is just to enjoy some drinks listen to some live music and I also want to highlight Izumi in the park which is right next to the Izumi restaurant but it's basically a cool takeout window so you can also order all of your favorite sushis without actually having to you know book a reservation or sit down in the restaurant if you want to take your sushi dinner to the room or just eat it elsewhere around the ship but look at the vibes Izumi's not normally in the Central Park area on board our Oasis class cruise ships for example Izumi would be normally located next to the casino on deck 4 so it's definitely an interesting vibe to have the Izumi Japanese tapanyaki and sushi bar restaurant as well as this Izumi in the park directly opposite Izumi we have our classic a Royal Caribbean classic I should rather say Chops Grill Steakhouse but the difference between uh, this Chops Grill compared to any of our other Chops Grills that we have on board our fleet is that you can actually select what type of meat you want when you pick your steak like they actually have on display all of the steaks and you can pick exactly which piece of meat you want for your dinner. So that concludes the Central Park neighborhood here on deck number eight. Now let's make my way up to the next one. Welcome to the Aqua Dome neighborhood which is where you can find the brand new Aqua Theatre exclusive for the Icon class of cruise ships. Located right here on deck 14 this is by far the coolest venue and coolest neighborhood in my personal opinion on board the entire ship because not only does it visually look uh, kind of like a it's quite similar to the 270 venue on our quantum class cruise ships but there is a hell of a lot more technology, new state of the art equipment and also the sound system during the aqua action show is actually fantastic. But not only is this venue where you would come to watch the aqua show which is where you will get swimmers and dancers doing their thing or almost on a nightly basis I would say. These are actually diving boards at the top here where believe it or not they actually flip and do some cool stunts but just look how like I said visually pleasing this aqua theatre is but it's not only where you will find the aqua theatre 
but inside the aqua dome and again I, I know I've said this for quite a lot of uh, venues and neighborhoods now but the aqua dome is also where you will find so this location here is the ultimate chill out spot which is the replacement of the solarium which you would normally find on both Oasis and Quantum class cruise ships. Now the reason why the overlook is different is because first of all we are indoors and there is no swim bleh, there is no swimming pools here. In fact the floor is actually all carpeted but you will notice there is so much different kind of seating areas there are chill out pods there's places to actually even do some work because they have a lot of outlets if you want to bring your laptop up here your tablet you want to make youtube videos for example this right here is the coolest chill out spot for incredible views of where we are docked today we are here in coco k perfect day and look at these huge windows that just completely surrounds me honestly by far the best like i said chill out spot on the entire ship as well as pearl cafe so that's going to do it for the aqua dome neighborhood now let's make my way on to the next one well i forgot my sunglasses today which is a complete rocky vlogger mistake but nonetheless here i am on the pool deck now because this is where three neighborhoods are located so let's start off with chill island and the reason why you would call this chill island is because well simply this is the side of the pool deck where you would chill out icon of the seas has more swimming pools compared to any other cruise ship including this cool swim up bar for example swim and tonic and some of our favorite royal caribbean classics now such as the lime and coconut but also you would consider the Windjammer Buffet as part of the Chill Island neighborhood. So that about does it for Chill Island. Now let's move over to Thrill Island. Oh, look at this. We're docked next to Mariner of the Seas today. Always good to see an old ship that I worked on previously. In fact, this is the first ship I ever worked on when I decided to become an assistant casino host. It's quite weird just looking back now because I can remember literally standing there making videos as well. Now the reason why this is called Thrill Island is because well this is where you would get a whole bunch of different thrills like for example right behind me is the category 6 water park. The reason why it's called category 6 is because there are six different water slides you can try when you come up to this area of the neighborhood. Now some other cool thrill attractions on board Icon of the Seas is the climbing wall and right next door you have the crown's edge i'm going to put in some of the footage that i already have some of you have probably already seen it but i did get the opportunity to try out both the climbing wall and the crown's edge during the startup phase and the final neighborhood i'm going to show you in today's video is the hideaway welcome to the first ever suspended infinity pool on board a Royal Caribbean cruise ship and I think this is the first ever infinity pool at sea again this is what I would like to call an ultimate chill out spot on the venue and with a day of the Coco Cay Island as you are just chilling in the suspended infinity pool today really is a perfect day and that guys will conclude my eight neighborhood explanation video i don't know what i'm going to call this yet now before i go a lot of you are probably thinking and if you are keeping count uh chris you've only mentioned seven neighborhoods what happened to number eight well the last neighborhood i will not be able to actually go in and show you because that is the sweet neighborhood now for anyone to have access into the sweet neighborhood for the guests you have to be staying in a grand suite or above and this is basically a two deck private sort of area on the ship where there's like a couple pools there's a private uh, mini buffet and everything which is actually quite nice kind of similar vibes to i would say the crown's lounge the suite lounge you know you have sort of if you're a guest you need a certain tier level or you need to be staying in like i said a grand suite or above to be granted access into these areas and as a crew member i cannot just obviously just walk in and start filming and doing my thing to, to be honest i probably could and i'm sure if i asked they would let me in but yeah like i said as you can imagine me going into the sweet neighborhood not really something i can do for my youtube channel 
And one other thing that I wasn't able to show you um, in today's video is the Empire Supper Club, which is a completely brand new dining experience just for the Icon class of cruise ships. This is an eight course extravaganza. This is going to cost you anywhere between $200 and $300 just to eat here. It's limited capacity. I forget exactly how many people can dine it there at one time, but this is something that is actually very high demand. All right, when I first heard about this, I thought, who's gonna pay this amount of money to eat in this restaurant? But believe it or not, it is fully booked almost, I would say, every night, if not actually fully booked every night, because the demand is really high because the quality, the service, the dishes that you get, the live music, the atmosphere, it's very, I don't know how to describe it because I've never actually tried it myself. I've only heard about it from the guests, from what I've seen online. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I think it may have been sort of a long one. I'm not sure yet when I stop putting it together. Uh, let me know if this video was too long or if it was just the right amount. But as for now, I've been Chris Wong. Thank you so much for watching today's cruise video. I will see you in the next one. See you later.